e-bills, notes. That's still the second highest spend. But that would be inconvenient to go out and tell the truth, wouldn't it? So I'm laying myself on the line. I believe if you look at the trend line, even from the budget office at the White House, the amount they have keep revising the number, revising the number, revising the number, there's a very good chance total gross interest, excuse me, total gross debt, borrowing, borrowing this year, 2.8 trillion, it could actually kiss up to three. Now, why is this such a big deal? Think about it. Why is this such a big deal? Didn't we just have a gentleman standing behind that microphone telling us how great the economy was? How great all the spending was? How much it had moved the economy? Okay, GDP is actually reasonable. It's actually pretty good right now. How is it possible? You're running a two, eight, three trillion dollar deficit in a time when the economy is supposedly doing well. Do you understand? These are deficits that would have been... If you are currently employed by Tesco or have been within the last six years, you may be eligible to join the claim for equal pay compensation in the middle of the pandemic. The wheels have come off. And this place isn't willing to actually deal with the reality. When we can't even do a deficit commission, when we sit here and fight for months over things that would be rounding errors. Really uncomfortable to say, if you're borrowing like $9 billion a day and we're going to shut the place down for months over $16 billion, does anyone see a math problem? We basically burnt this place down for a couple days of interest, borrowing. So let's actually walk through what's about to happen to each of you. We use 2026 because that's the year you're going to pay your taxes. Next year, a number of the provisions of the tax reform from December 2017 expire. You got it? So let's walk through. Let's say you are a, a middle American. You're basically working your, your sides up. You, you right now are getting, you have a 24% tax rate. Okay, congratulations, you go up to 28. If you're one of those top earners, you now have functionally a 37% tax rate, you're going to 39.6. All the marginal tax rates go up, and that happens next year. So at the moment this election is over, the negotiations begin on this. And it will matter who's in the Senate Finance, who's in the House Ways and Means Committee, because the math, the math takes off. So let's actually go a little bit further. Expiring 2025 tax provisions. Standard deduction. If you are single, you get a $14,600 deduction. That goes away next year. And that standard deduction goes to $8,300. Anyone see a problem? Married. You get a $29,200 deduction today. A year from now, that's gone. You go to $16,600. Sure glad the president spent a bunch of time talking about how we were going to protect the middle class and make the economy continue to grow. So just a baseline, the baseline number, and this is already the law. You're a single individual. You make $60,000. You will pay $1,794 dollars more. $1,794 at the end of next year. That's the law. It's already baseline. So you understand the crazy amount of spending it was talked about behind that microphone last week. They're already relying on your taxes going up. So let's walk through a couple other things so people understand. Expiring 2025 tax provisions, pass-throughs. Any of you have an LLC? You know, a family business, a, a, a side hustle? You have a little LLC, you, you make some income, you do some consulting. Maybe you're a fancy subchapter S corporation. Maybe you're a partnership. Maybe you're one of those employee-owned type benef 
you know, businesses. You understand, um, current status, you get to deduct equal to 20%. Yeah, that was trying to find a way to make it equal so you had the same fairness for cha um, subchapter C corporations, or C chapter C corporations. That's gone. Your taxes are going up a whole bunch if you're an LLC or a pass-through. Employer credit for paid leave goes away next year. Just goes away. Right now, um, credit up to 25% for up to 12 weeks. You get a 25% credit. That was one of the incentives that was built into the 2017 tax reform. It expires. It goes away. I'm sure glad this place is stepping up and understanding the expiring provisions and the kick on the head that will be to the working class because we're, we're, we're making the numbers work, right? All right, another one. Expiring 2025 provisions. State and local tax deduction. Now, those of you from high-tax states, you're giddy. Um, the deduction right now is capped at $10,000, and it goes back. It goes back to as high as you want. The great irony here is when you have the Bernie Sanders of the world who basically say, eh, this is a tax cut, tax deduction for the ultra wealthy, because almost the vast majority, I've, I, years ago I came back and did the charts on this, and it was... So